In this video, we take a look at the MCDU in the A32 Annex, going through the steps required to do a manual setup for a flight. That's coming up next. Hello, some pilots, and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. We're on the A32 Annex by Fly by Wire again, and today we're looking at the multifunction display unit, more commonly known as the MCDU. The MCDU is how pilots interact with the Flight Management Guidance Computer, also known as the FMGC. It is used to input various data for the flights, including the flight plan, departures and arrivals, aircraft performance calculations, and so on. We are going to input all the data manually as opposed to importing it directly from SimBrief, which is also an option. I'm using a SimBrief flight plan, however, we are going to take the data from the SimBrief flight plan and input it ourselves. So let's get straight to it. So this is our MCDU. On the left and on the right, you have the line select keys. And over here you have the arrow keys, also known as the slew keys. So this is how you navigate between pages and up and down in those pages. And this is how you select the menus from the side. To set up the MCDU, we use the acronym called DFSRIP, meaning data, in its A, flight plan, secondary flight plan, radnav, in it B, and performance. In that order, that's how you set up your MCDU. When we head over to the MCDU, we are presented with this main menu over here. It says select desired system. Click on FMGC and it'll give you the information for your aircraft, the engines, the active nav database, etc. First page, as I said, data. There's nothing to put in on this date page over here. So we can go straight to init A. And all the orange boxes are what you need to fill in. For the init A page, we're going to do our departure and our arrival. For this flight, it is Echo Golf Kilo Kilo slash Echo Delta Delta Mike for Munich. Brings you up the company route page. As we've got no company route save, it says none. You can just go to return. Our alternate is Frankfurt, so Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. Our flight number is EZ8985. Our cost index for this flight is 30. Our cruise level is flight level 350, minus 51 degrees. Okay, that's the init A page sets up. Okay, with that filled in, we can go over to our next on our acronym, which is the F for flight plan, and we can fill in our route. So we are departing from Echo Golf Kilo Kilo departure runway 26 left and the standard instrument departure is going to be the MIMFO 1 mic departure we'll select that one over there and insert that will give you all the waypoints for the instrument departure as you can see there it is there so straight ahead we'll do turning around heading over that way and to our first waypoint which is MIMFO now, if you're flying online, you would normally want to fill in your route before you fill in your instrument departure. For example, if you're flying on VATSIM and you haven't received your ATC clearance yet, you can start with the MIMFO waypoints, fill in all your waypoints and your airways, and then go back to the departure once you get your departure clearance from ATC. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just continue from MIMFO. From MIMFO, we'll be joining the airway, which is Yankee 312. From Yankee 312, we are going to the waypoint Delta Victor Romeo, which is a VOR. From Delta Victor Romeo, Airway Lima 9. From Lima 9, we'll be joining. From Lima 9, waypoint Conan, Kilo Oscar November Alpha November. From Conan, waypoint, excuse me, airway UL907. That's not right. 607. From Lima 607 to waypoint 
Kilo, Oscar Kilo. Direct. So from Kilo, Oscar Kilo, we have a direct, not a weight, not a airway. So we'll go insert that. And we'll scroll down all the way to that last one. Kilo, Oscar Kilo. And our next waypoint will be Matug. Mike Alpha Tango Uniform Golf. Matug. Insert that. And then down. Select Matug. From Matug, direct Movem. Mike Oscar Victor Uniform Mike. Insert that. Scroll all the way down again. Now guys, is an easy way to fill in these flight plans. If you import your flight plan directly from SimBrief, stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how to do that. From Movum, we're going to be joining an airway. Tango 109. Tango 109er. Tango 109er to Hotel Alpha Romeo Echo Mike. Then Tango 104 Airway, Tango 104 to Rockhill, which should be the last waypoint on our flight plan. So Rockhill, then from Rockhill. It'll be the arrival, Rock Hill 1 Bravo into 26 right. So we'll insert that. And then we'll go to destination, Munich, arrival, runway 26 right, RLS 26 right. And the standard arrival will be Rock Hill 1 Bravo. No bias, and we'll insert that. Did I select that? Yes. We go back to our flight plan. Scroll through everything. Make sure there's no discontinuities. Everything looks correct. We can double check it by having a look here. On the navigation display, you can change that to plan. And you can scroll through the flight plan make sure everything is correct everything looks correct you can change the scale as well so you can see more at a time as you scroll through all the waypoints there's rock kill and there's our arrival into two six right so that's the flight plan page done after that after flight plan we use secondary flight plan that has not been implemented yet in the a32 nx after secondary flight plan, we do RAD nav. You can fill in your frequencies for situational awareness if you want to. So you can fill in the VORs for the departure. And you can see it's already got our arrival because we've already programmed the arrival. As I said earlier, if you're flying online, you won't put in your arrival until you get it from the air traffic controller once you are near your destination. You can do that while you're still flying. You don't have to fill it in during this MCDU setup. Continuing after rad nav, we can go to the init B page. So if you go back to init and you lose your slew keys here, as you can see here, you've got arrows going left and right. So that means there's more pages. So you go to init B. This is your init B page. So before we continue with that, we need to do our weight and balance. So over here we go back to MCDU menu, ATSU, AOC menu, performance weight and balance. You can put in your block fuel, which is going to be Six nine seven one. Six nine seven one. Our taxi fuel, which is going to be two hundred, and our trip fuel, which is going to be three two three seven. And we can load that. 
and as you can see refueling over there and there's our fuel over there okay then we go to the next page and we fill in our payload so we go a payload we just fill in the total which is going to be 15 tons no, 15,000 kilograms and that sets it up all for us okay we go load that and then it'll give us our zero it'll give us our takeoff weight 63,000 kilograms now guys when I was busy editing this video I realized that the zero fuel weight and the gross weight of the aircraft did not match the Simbri flight plan that's because in the fly by wire at the moment you're un unable to fill in the cargo and the passengers as well so that's why my zero fuel weight and my takeoff weight did not match what you saw in the aircraft at the time of recording the video there's a way you can do that by playing with the sliders in Microsoft Flight Simulator to get to as close as possible to the correct weights but as you'll see in the end of the video it's much easier just to do it by importing your some brief flight plan automatically into the MCDU. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, now that our weight and balance is sorted out, we can sort out our in at B page. So we go back to in at B, our zero fuel weight, double click there, and it'll automatically fill it in for you. Our block fuel, as we said, is 7.0 tons. You can insert that there. Our trip wind for the flight is going to be our average wind component which is a tailwind of 34 knots so we go plus 34 that should help with the cruise a little bit that's our init b page setup then we go to our performance page for our performance page we look at the transition altitude for our departure at Gatwick is 6,000 feet. Flaps, we're going to take off flaps one. Our V speeds, we double click on the line select keys and it'll automatically fill it in for you. V1130, V rotate 131, and V2135. And with that done, that is everything set up for the MCDU and you are ready to fly. Now, as promised earlier, let me show you a much easier way of doing this, much faster. If you just connect your SimBrief account to the MCDU, it can be all filled in for you automatically. So let's do that now. All right, guys, so I've reset the MCDU, and this is the best way to do it. So if you go to Options, you go to AOC, you go to SimBrief, and you put in your SimBrief username or your SimBrief Pilot's ID, you connect your 832NX to your SimBrief profile, and once you have created your flight plan inside SimBrief and you want to import it directly to the MCDU, all you have to do is you come over to the MCDU, you go to MCDU menu, you go ATSU, AOC menu, init, and you go init data request, and it'll bring up your flight plan directly from SimBrief. There it is there. Easy 8985, departure, arrival, estimated time on route, and you go to performance, weights and balance. Everything is filled in already for you. You can you can load it into the aircraft. And you go to the next page. Here's your performance, weights and balance. Everything filled in for you. You go to load. It loads your payload for you. Then you can come back and continue with the setup as we did previously. So you go data, nothing to fill in there. In it's A, in it request, and it brings everything up for you. Echo Golf Kilo Kilo to Echo Delta Delta Mike. Alternates, flight number, cost index, cruise level, everything filled in for you. Flight plan, here's your flight plan. Obviously, it will not fill in your departure and your arrival because that's something that you normally get from ATC if you're flying on VATSIM or Aveo or even if you're flying with a Microsoft Flight Simulator ATC, which personally I never use because I think it's terrible. So you can go Echo Golf Kilo Kilo 
departure, 2 6 right, fill in the departure as we did previously, which was the, let me just get it again, I can't remember, Mempho 1 mic. Sorry, that's the incorrect runway. Erase that. Let's departure two six left. Mempho one mic departure. Insert that. And go all the way. Scroll through everything. There's Mempho, and you have a flight plan discontinuity there. You just clear that by pressing clear. Continue scrolling through the flight plan. Everything is there as we filled in manually before. From Rock Hill, we're going to go Arrival, ILS 26 right, and the Rock Hill 1 Bravo Arrival. Rock Hill 1 Bravo Arrival, insert that. Everything is there as before. It's just all done automatically for us, but we'll still page through it just to make sure everything looks correct. Then from flight plan, secondary flight plan, we don't use RadNav, you can use it in at B, go to the in at B page, double select line, select key, zero fuel weight, your block fuel 7.0, there we go, your trip wind we said was a plus 34 knots, And that's the NFB done and performance page. Transition altitude, select 6000. Insert that there. It's going to be a flaps one takeoff. V1, 130. V2, 131. And V rotate, 135. Excuse me, V rotate, 131. And V2, 135. Clean speed 211 flaps 1. Now, if you want to work out your trimmable horizontal stabilizer, you can do that using the center of gravity. If you want to do a flex takeoff temp, you, there are calculators that you can use online to do it. Personally, I just use Togo for all my takeoffs as I find working out the flex takeoff temperature just adds a little bit of time and it's not necessary. So there you have it guys, I hope you have fun setting up your MCDU for your next flight. I like doing it manually as it does involve you a little bit more in the flight, but if you've got a long flight with a lot of waypoints in your route, it is much easier just to use the SimBrief import option. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, and if you would like to give me some ideas for my next video, leave a comment below, and uh, maybe we can do a full flight sometime soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.